it's Mrs. H and I wanted to get together today to read a couple of fall stories and to show you a project that you could try today with some leaves. So the first book I'm going to read is Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn by Kennard Peck. Published by Henry Holt and Company. Hello late summer morning. Hello trees. Hello, now that the cool winds have come, we love how your branches sway in the sun. This was sort of like last week. Hello, playful foxes and singing blue jays. Hello, we are busy looking for food. Some of us are heading south to our winter homes. Hello, walking stick and butterflies. Hello, we're surprised you saw us. We were trying our best to blend in and we'll do the same in warmer places. Hello, beavers. Hello, chipmunks. Hello, we have no time to play because we're making cozy nests and dens. It will be cold soon and we want to get ready. Hello, flowers. Hello, we are leaning into the sun, enjoying the last summer rays. Some of us, like asters and flocks, are late bloomers, and we make the end of the season even more colorful. Hello, thunder. Hello, you can hear my low rumble from far away, my cloud bloom over the open fields and quiet hills. And boy, we sure have had some storms in the past few weeks. Hello, breezy wind. Hello, I love to swoosh and drizzle the leaves and leaves through the misty streets. Hello, chill in the air. Hello, it's time to bring out your thick sweaters and scarves. Hello, puddle. Hello, now that the wind has come, I often get covered with fallen leaves. Hello, leaves. Hello, we are changing our colors. Some of us turn red and brown while others turn gold or yellow. And the dogwood leaves turn purple. Hello, big orange sun. Hello, I am setting earlier and earlier now that summer is coming to an end, but I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye, summer. Hello, Autumn. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that book. And my next favorite one is called Yellow Time by Lauren Stringer. This is published by Beach Lane Books. The squirrels are too busy to notice and the geese have already gone. But the other birds have left too, but not the crows. The crows love yellow time. They fill still leafy trees with their voices, announcing it's coming to everyone. Just before yellow time, the air smells different, like wet and mud and dry grass with a sprinkle of sugar. Yellow time comes before white time every time. Everyone is ready. The trees can't hold on forever. The sky billows gray with clouds and then it begins. Whoosh, whoosh. The wind blows yellow sideways, and then up, and then down. Everywhere fills with yellow, a symphony of yellow. Children run in the yellow air. They let it catch their hair and cover their sweaters. They jump and turn in yellow time. It only comes once a year. 
and when it's over, piles of yellow pool and gutters decorate sidewalks, blankets, fences, steps, roofs, and even an empty bird bath. Black crows fill bare branches and raise their voices in praise of yellow time. Squirrels still busy bundle final touches of yellow to their high leafy nests, while children below gather bouquets of yellow. to press into thick books to remember. What a lovely yellow time it was. The end. So I wore some of my yellow clothes today and my yellow bracelet. And I even brought my yellow glasses out for the occasion. So now what we're going to do is think about what kind of project we could do with some of our leaves. So this morning, when I got to school, I went out and collected a few leaves that were just blown in the yard. It's been a little bit of rainy, so I dried them off with paper towel. And this one, does anybody know what kind of tree this is from? This is from an oak tree. It's nice and leathery. And how about this one? Does anybody know what kind of tree this is from? It has the three lobes. This is from a maple tree. And here's another little maple leaf. And then we have some others here. I think this is probably from the linden tree. And this one, possibly from a choke cherry tree. Ooh, and look at this nice skinny one. This is maybe from um, some type of a willow. So you can go outside and collect some beautiful leaves that you see. And in the other video, we talked about maybe arranging them into a little bit of a sculpture. But today what we're gonna do is called a crayon rubbing. So for this, you need something with a texture, which is the way something feels, and then some crayons the ones without paper work the best for this, actually. So, in order to capture the texture, you take the leaf and you put it under your piece of paper on a hard surface. And it's important to lay the crayon on its side. So you don't use it like a regular drawing crayon, but you lay it flat. And then I'm going to take the crayon and gently rub it over to capture the texture of my leaf. A darker color of crayon usually works better, but you can try lighter colors too. And now I have captured the texture of my maple leaf. I could just move this and do it again with another color. But maybe next I'll try my oak leaf and I'll try another color crayon. This time I'm going to try blue. And there's my oak leaf. I'll try this linden leaf. And this time I'm gonna try maybe an orange crayon. Ooh, that one turned out better than I expected. So a fancy word for what we're doing, capturing the texture, is called frottage. Or you can simply call it a leaf rubbing or, or capturing the texture. So, you can fill your paper with many colors and patterns. If you have paint, another fun thing to do is to paint over your colors or to paint inside of your textures and to see what kind of cool effects you can get. So let's see, I'm gonna take a little bit of green watercolor on my brush. For this, you wanna use plenty of water and a little bit of color. And you can see how the crayon pops through the paint. All right, let's try one more color. 
over here. And then you guys can get busy creating your leaf art. Some other fun things you can do with leaves is to do a um, pressing like they did in the book. They, you can take your leaves and dry them out in a heavy book so they stay nice and flat. And you can also make a collage or glue them on to paper. So, have a great day. I hope you can get outside and create some leaf art. And please send me some images of anything you create. So until next time, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be healthy, and may you be at peace. Bye-bye.